why do I take pictures? That is a question that I plan to answer in today's video. So keep watching, we'll find out together. So you may have figured out already, I'm not traveling. I am not in Iceland, I am not in Zion in Utah, I'm not in Martinique, I am at home. It does happen from time to time that I go home and I live here. For the past few months, I've actually had a ton of videos from other locations and then I've just spread them out so that I don't have to like strain as much in the winter. Um, to me, we don't have a lot of snow around Alabama, surprise, surprise, um, at all, like no snow. I think it snowed one, two days this winter. And to me, everything just looks dead and just death. So I was pretty pleased to be able to go to a few locations this year and uh, take a lot of pictures in order to kind of spread out um, everything for the YouTube videos that I do. I, I've, I've kind of committed to one video a week and that's kept me, that's kept me busy and it kind of gives me some extra purpose to kind of allows me some time to get away from my normal everyday life um, just to let my brain have a break from dadding so much and it gives me some opportunities to be creative and use my artistic side. So I hope you guys uh, benefit from it because I know for sure I do. So anyway, where I am right now is I am downtown at our town that we live in in Alabama. So um, it's a Saturday, so it's a sleepy little town sometimes and so there's not a lot going on but I figured I'm gonna try out it's just some kind of architectural city type, not city, I'd go with town, village maybe, uh, photography, just to get some cool shots that I don't normally get. So this is one of the shops that I want. It's so cool, it's old, and it's it's got some, some patina, as they say. I think it'd be an awesome shop. Anyway, let's keep walking. Noticed a bus stop right there. I've also never noticed buses here because I don't know if you've noticed there's not really a lot of places to go. Oh well, guess I'll keep an eye out for buses now. Okay, small fact either. This building right here, the Blanton building, or this one, used to be the office of the doctor that built our house, which our house was built in 1910, and he was a doctor, and he lived here, and either that was his building or the other one. All I know for sure is that it was one of the buildings next to the Methodist church. Here I am at the steps of the courthouse, as they say. But really, I'm, I'm sitting on the steps of the courthouse, so of course I'm saying that. Um, why landscape photography? For me, I don't like taking pictures of people because people have opinions, and I am very sensitive when it comes to people thinking my pictures aren't good or I haven't captured something the right way. With landscape photography, it's kind of more about art. So I'm able to take a picture, and it kind of is my interpretation of whatever I'm looking at, and it's fine. Um, with people, my wife says at work that people ask her sometimes if I can take pictures for their wedding or graduation pictures, and she always says, no, he doesn't take pictures of people. They probably think I'm a jerk. I probably am, but I just can't really deal with the fear of people saying, wow, uh, you really ruined my wedding pictures and I only had one chance to have really nice pictures at this wedding you're a big jerk I'd be like well but I took a really cool picture 
of your wedding venue out in the forest because I like forest pictures. So landscape photography for me is uh, way better for me personally um, because I'm able to capture something and present it in a way that I want to without feeling like I'm supposed to capture something specific for someone's wedding or someone's birthday or graduation and like it's their face. So their face is not in my picture. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. soak in, seep in deep into my soul. Okay, I'm good, let's go. Okay, so I know for a fact this building right here is for sale. Not that I have been looking for an old cool warehouse type business to turn into a shop. That'd be crazy, right? I can't go around that way. Not with these shoes. If we had an extra $113,000, which we don't, it'd be so cool to own this building and turn it into like a shop for my wife. She uh, is a wonderful seamstress and makes really beautiful clothes for our kids and for herself and even for me. She's trying to make me a shirt for Easter, so we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But wouldn't this be cool to turn into like a fabric shop slash dress shop slash photography picture shop slash furniture slash whatever else we want to think about doing <gasps> it used to be the seven up place all right i'm trying to figure out what a cool shop would be over here <gasps> look at that i think i may have found excuse me tree my subject excuse me pole excuse me another pole i don't know what those are but i think they're pretty cool looking like little circle buildings. Maybe they used to have stuff in them. I don't know. Pretty close. I'm gonna hop in the truck and see if I can park a little closer because I don't wanna walk all the way over there with my camera. Let's go. Okay, I'm trying to stay out of the wind. So what I've done is I parked my truck as close as I could to said subject and um, I set my camera up in the back of my truck so I'm just kind of in the back of my truck taking a picture of this thing. It's got all these vines going up it and it's got the really striking lines from whatever it's made of and ladder over on one side and this tree that's not quite ready for spring to come. It's just a cool, cool shot and I want it to be in black and white so you just notice all these things. I don't want any color like distracting you so and the clouds are just kind of ominous yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a black and white guys so sorry maybe there's another shot somewhere okay so I have my two second timer set ISO 100 f11 and uh, a 30th of a second so let's take that shot and see if we like it Yeah, we do, we like it, we like it. That's cool. All right, there's some train tracks right over there. So look at this picture and then I'm gonna walk over the train tracks being mindful not to get run over because trains do come through here all the time. camera headed over to the train tracks I wonder if there's any like laws or rules about train tracks I feel like there should be if there's not all right this one looks to be pretty old this one looks like it is in use daily okay so this is fine I haven't been on a train track since I was younger 
feeling rebellious. This feels good. This feels good. This feels right. Anyway, um, I'm going to lower my tripod. I'm closer to the actual train track. This is hard with one hand. Um, I'm going to do that and then we'll talk. Okay, so the cars wouldn't quit driving over the train tracks. So I was just stood there for a while, kept looking both ways, snapping away on my camera until finally I got one shot. No cars. It was beautiful. Hope you enjoy this picture too. Possibly in black and white. So, enjoy. father helping my wife with the kids really she's helping me with the kids right now so it's like one of those relationships it's not a 50 50 it's a hundred hundred you give your best all the time if you're giving half of yourself then half yourself belongs somewhere else and that is not how marriage works people please stay tuned for more videos on marriage and family just kidding that was for free uh, but do stay tuned next week for more videos and adventures in photography whether it's in another country or just downtown. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little break from the normalcy of uh, ridiculous travel that I do. So if you guys did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. You guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. It's for rent, you know? It's a little too big for me. I don't have, any, I don't have that much stuff to sell. <laughs>